Shakespeare, you have been called here today on the charge of fraud. Please place your left hand on the Bible and your right hand in the air. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, self you God? Yes. All right, let's get on with it. Prosecutor, you may now take the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Shakespeare, is it a true statement by saying you wrote all the things so many people give you credit for? Of course. Interesting, because I have evidence that proves against that accusation. William, is it true that you never attended college or received any kinds of legal training? That is true, but... Hey, please just answer the question. Yes, I did not go to law school or any university. Thank you. Would it also be uh, factual to say that you never educated your children and that even your daughter was illiterate? Yes, that is true. Then how, Mr. Shakespeare, could a man write pieces like Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet, having not even attended college, and whose own daughter can't even read or write? I didn't need to go to college to become a writer, and I didn't feel it was necessary for my daughter to learn to read or write. Interesting. Mr. Shakespeare, right here, I have a writing of your will. It states here a lot of detailed description of household items. But nowhere does it mention books, manuscripts, desks, shelves, pens, paper, or anything suggesting literary interest. Care to elaborate? I mean, I figured all that stuff would be handled by my wife after my death. I did not really value pens and paper that much. They're not very, uh, you know, worth uh, that were not worth that much. I did not see. Any we'll see. In my will. They would be if you were the famous playwright, like you say you were. I suppose so to certain people. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Shakespeare. Now, Your Honor, I'd like to call. Edward DeVere to the stand. Motion carried. Please introduce yourself, Mr. DeVere. My name is Henry DeVere. I am the 17th Duke of Oxford. I'm a well-educated, well-traveled man and a aristocrat with many royal connections. Thank you. Now, DeVere, can you tell us how you are the true Shakespeare writer? <clears throat> Well, at court, I was known as the sheer spear shaker because of my skills at tournaments and my lion, or my crest showing a lion brandishing a spear. In a 1578 address to me in front of the court, Gabriel Harvey refers to me as Veltus te la Vibret, which translates to his Will Shakespeare's. So what you're telling me is William Shakespeare is a pseudonym. Yes, although no play published under my own name has uh, survived the test of time. Uh, my acknowledged early verse and my surviving letters contain forms, words, and phrases characteristic of Shakespeare. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this man, Edward De Vere, is truly the Shakespeare writer of our time. So, Edward, please explain on to these men and women in the jury, to how you truly are this man. Well, the sonnets and plays of Shakespeare contain frequent and numerous references to events that are paralleled in my own life. And in what way? For example, in 1573, myself as a young man, along with my companions, were reported as playing pranks on people on a uh, road along the same stretch of between Rochester and Gravestone. Um, where Prince Hal and his pals uh, prank travelers in Henry IV, Part One. Thank you. No further questions. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I wish for you now to confer with, amongst yourselves and come up with a verdict. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes, sir. I find the defendant, William Shakespeare, guilty on counts of fraud and I sentence him to having both of his hands cut off.